and we have two feeders here. Both of them are suitcase eights, remote controls. Charlie. Back up, get the jerk. Back up, back up, back up. Okay. Go okay. for the semi. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Wow. Back over the feeder. This is suitcase eight RCs and he's uh, he broke a uh, something there. I'm not sure what happened. As you can see, the actual dense connector came off of this weld cable. The back of the feeder looks intact. Everything seems to be intact in on the feeder itself. He's giving it the high speed jerk test. This is a strain relief test. <laughs> Basically checking to see how the strain reliefs are holding up on the weld cable. Get a picture of Eric. Wow. <laughs> Say <Right>. cheese. <laughs> it's like the old days, Eric. Where's the still? Get the get the still up. Go back and pan wow. the whole thing too, John. Yeah. You're gonna be a star. Where's that big fuzzy mustache for the old <laughs> There is the suitcase <laughs> underneath this big truck here. And there's Eric. Wave! Set it off and then drive it back on without the flame. No, just drive off of it. Back back off. Yeah. Picture of the feeder hitting the river at the top of the head. Oh, man. That is one durable feeder. As you can see, the feeder is in perfect condition from the inside. Matches. It'll work. That was after it was run over what a truck. I don't know. Drive ahead a little bit, just a little bit. Keep going. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, come back a little bit and go for it. Stay out, lay out, don't get your safety glasses on? The meters are falling out. Wow. That's the LN25. Looks pretty well beat up already. Hold it! <laughs> That's the truck test. Case is totally demolishing. Okay. <laughs> wow. There it goes. <laughs> Great. Yeah, the cover is open. Back end is totally, the plastic enclosure is totally shot. 
meters and stuff are all meters popped out. Popped out. Case is dilapidated, crushed. Wires are all sprung on the inside. Look at the case broke there. Case is totally demolished. That's what's left.